Good morning. Greetings. Um, so, as you can see, this is not a normal uh, video game acapella. Uh, today we are doing just kind of a quick channel update. And if you're wondering who I am, I am Fishard. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's two of us that work on this channel. And I've got uh, Mr. Dooves here down uh, visiting. we got some summer vacation going on and he's in between shows. So he's going to be traveling through and he's here for the day. So we thought we'd throw this together and get some information out to you guys and uh, let you know what's up, what's coming up with the channel and give you just a general update. I guess it's been a like a year since anybody saw you, a real you. Yeah. So this is actually the first time I've we've been on an update. Yeah, we did this, this is... a year and a half ago. Same sort of thing where we played a, a Let's Play and did a channel update and talked about our goals and aspirations and some of the stuff we did for our first year of YouTube and this is sort of the same idea. The first time we tried playing a video game while we were talking about the channel and that was sort of a disaster. It was a little distracting. Because we were not good at the video game and <laughs> not good at talking <laughs> either. It's so we're going to stay on point. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it's not as a uh, bit of a mess as last one and uh, you can kind of figure out what's going on here. So. Let us uh, pull up what we want to talk about and uh, go through. Yeah. So, I mean, it's summer vacation for both of us. Uh, we're still going to do uh, this video, obviously, still exists. So, it's just sort of in place of what would normally be our uh, video game acapella, a midweek acapella video. But at least it's still a video and you guys get to kind of check in on us. And next week we'll be back to our normal shenanigans. So. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we're still going to be putting out videos and it's just kind of a quick break that we're on right now. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday we'll always have a, a Saturday morning acapella. We'll never stop doing that. Exactly. Even if we have a week. Oh, hey. What do you, what do you got? What are you wearing? Pretty fancy. So if you notice here, um, we actually have <laughs> Triforce Films merch now, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's something we recently kind of set up, we got it up and running. Typically you'll see Mr. Doobs wearing a little Triforce logo and stuff with his uh, crafty skills at cutting out <laughs> paper. paper. And yeah. But now it's official. You want to show them the tab thing? Okay, so yeah, so we actually have a little store here. There it is. Cool. So this is here is our little kind of shop that we have set up here. It's a shop.spreadshirt.com front slash Triforce Films and it'll take you to where we have kind of our preliminary first lineup of cool merch and stuff that we have. Maybe we'll put a link in the info for this video if anyone is interested in this merch. Right, so it, <clears throat> there's lots of variety. You can basically click, if you want the shirt that I'm wearing here, you can click on it. It should load up here. Uh, there's different sizes and you can get it in different colors and stuff depending on what your preference is. Um, I'm wearing a medium and you've got a medium Me on too. too, so it's kind of... I'm really impressed with the quality too. This actually, it's like a nice, it's got a good feel, a good fit to it. Um, Even if you guys don't buy this stuff, I think Richard and I will just buy like 15 of each <laughs> for just for our own wardrobe. So if you do buy it, it does help the channel out. We're not... Our, our goal really isn't to just try and sell you guys a bunch of merch, but we thought we'd actually get some stuff. And uh, are you gonna show them? We've got, got an a unboxing. Live, a live unboxing of the uh, of the Mr. Doves mug. So. This one. Oh yeah, here. Switch. Uh, kind of got a, a glare. Uh, hey there. There Look you at go. That. Look at Mr. Doves and Fisher. Mr. Doves and Side Fishard. by side. <laughs> Drink coffee out of that. And we've got that now too. Uh, the channel's been growing really well and we're super excited about that. Uh, we're up to, we're just over 17,000 subscribers and we don't really have a way to give back to the channel and this merch is going to be kind of a way that we can give back. So we want to be able to either do like some raffles, draws, things like that and we'll kind of cover some of that here uh, in a little bit. So. All right, so yeah, 17,000 subscribers. We'll be hitting 20,000 any day now, and that's sort of 
we've given ourselves hopefully we, <laughs> we like to look at the, the channel sort of like a, a mini game from a from a video game we're like yeah we it's like achievement unlocked we made it to 10,000 and that was a big deal and then next we'll be like aiming for a hundred thousand it's just kind of it makes it fun to try to every day you're looking forward to Oh, how how well are we doing? And how many people have we reached today? How many smiles have we have we given back to the world? Or how many childhoods have we helped someone relive? And it's really nice to see the growth and see people commenting and saying, "Oh man, I'm so glad I found you, and I, I didn't know you existed." And I'm like, "Yay, welcome aboard!" And that's kind of that's where we're at. We're just really appreciative and. Yes, it's thank nice. you. We absolutely love it. And all of you that come back every single video to watch and yeah. see our new content. Yeah, we love all the that. comments, all, and you know, anything you guys contribute is always uh, appreciated. And I'm constantly responding on my phone to every comment, pretty much every comment that comes in. So tell your friends, stick around. We got lots of cool stuff planned to come. Saturday morning acapella volume five is uh, submitted and soon to be released. Right, and we're into Saturday Morning Acapella Volume 6. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of uh, clever subscribers out there that notice when the little doovy, or the little Mr. Doos, his t-shirt changes color in our Saturday week. I guess we can take a look. Switch in. It's gonna wake up. Come on, there we go. Okay. So yeah, you can notice our uh, our album changes. It takes a little while for submissions to go through. It all has to be approved. They're cover tracks, right? But if you look, you'll see the little Mr. Do shirt here. Let's go down to uh, the Saturday morning acapella list. Uh, if you go into our playlist here, you'll notice that we're on to orange and volume five was in the yellow, so mm -hmm. his yellow shirt. So you can kind of know that's when <clears throat> the next album's gonna be starting and they go into submission once we have all the tracks going. Everything comes out like basically, like you're working on and we're both working on each track every week. So we can't really submit stuff ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, as soon as the last video is done, usually Friday nights, Thursday nights, we have our Saturday morning acapella <laughs> uploaded and prepped. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> We're sometimes working on it until the very last early, minute. early Saturday morning. I, with, with Invader Zim, we uh, were working on it Saturday morning. <laughs> you had Pretty to much. do a re-upload when Viacom slapped us. We did uh, run into our very first, I guess, copyright block. Uh, the, the video itself, it's not a copyright strike with Invader Zim, but it was region blocked. And there is kind of a gray area with the fair use as far as using those intro videos um, for the Saturday morning acapellas. You click Invader Zim and they can look at it. Um, right, uh, we can go over to the, where did I passed it, it's over here. It's chronological. Okay, so you'll see it shows up as all. Just pause here. Pause. Shows up as all and a region free version. So I had uploaded the original um, normally, but you're gonna see that it's in kind of a slideshow mode for the visuals. Uh, normally we don't get uh, flagged for the visuals. Everything always has been great. It's uh, kind of fair use in a way. And that uh, hasn't been an issue until now. Hopefully that's just a one-off scenario, and uh, in order to uh, get that video out there, we just put a slide show version out. We could contest the, the copyright claim and do that, but it takes over a month or two. So we just wanted to get the video out. We want you to be able to enjoy the Saturday morning mm -hmm. acapella, the music, the cover, all that kind of stuff. We want you to be able to enjoy without having to, to worry about the visuals and stuff. It looks like everybody was pretty understanding um, with us, like when we finally got a working version up with the slideshow, there wasn't any like anger. So thank you guys for not for sticking with us during sticking that us, yeah, during exactly. that Saturday. I guess the point the point is still there. You see the kind of the visuals and you hear the the cover and mm -hmm. hopefully at least this is the only time this happens and we won't have to suffer through slideshow <laughs> slideshow intros. It's it's been nice to be able to include the full video of of each of these intros to kind of connect the nostalgia for everyone. So let's just, in the future, pray that's not an issue. And uh, yeah, we'll just try and keep on top of that kind of stuff. Uh, normally what ends up happening, if you do have a copyright claim and stuff, a lot of times they'll just claim the ad revenue, which were great. Like they put, they claim monetization on a video of ours, they'll put ads on it, 
and it goes to the copyright holder. And uh, in this case, they just region blocked it. And we didn't notice really because we live in Canada and it's available in Canada. It's Apparently just, you can watch all Viacom all copyright material <laughs> in Canada and, and they have no claim over us. Uh, just, we do whatever we want in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody all, can stop us. All 248 <laughs> countries it told me and I don't, We're think above the law. I don't think there's that many countries in the world. So I was a little, <laughs> I was a little confused. Yeah, how many? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Invader Zim, uh, it's kind of a little choppy one there. You can watch the full motion version on Facebook. Yeah, it's not as a flaggy. That's a good reason to go to and, our Facebook because uh, there's no, uh, there ain't no copyright laws on Facebook. You can watch anything. We can post anything. Yeah. But the the music, the audio, all that's there, and uh, yeah, we're gonna burr into our sixth Saturday morning acapella, which kind of brings us almost to a two year mark on doing the series, and. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. We've done so many Saturday morning cartoons, yeah. and there's so many left. Like the the list is growing and growing. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. So when was our when was our we're not going to run out anytime soon. That's for sure. Our dark here, Darkwing Duck was our very first one. I'm kind of curious. Darkwing Duck acapella, not the Warp Zone version. Hey, we warp love Warp Zone. zone. <laughs> I just don't want to accidentally click it. It was released August 9th, 2014. 2014. The very first Saturday morning a cappella will we'll have reached two years in um, the first week of August. Cool. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's, That's like cool. almost going to be 100, 100 posts by then. 100 cartoon themes. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> we'll have a little celebration then. Yeah, there's so many left, which is great. Um, <clears throat> uh, highlights. Going? Highlights. Should we talk about the various accolades that we've uh, that we've we had a lucky pretty enough? cool year. Uh, the channel's grown a lot, and uh, we've also had a lot of great accolades to the channel. Um, just people, you guys sharing our stuff has made a. Uh, made our channel grow and that's because of you guys mm -hmm. and some people have actually seen our work that we never expected to ever see it and it's super exciting. Some pretty amazing senpai bigwigs have, have commented <laughs> or tweeted us or Facebooked our, our versions of their songs and that's like been a really really cool so we've made a little list here and we'll kind of just go down it. Hope we don't miss any. There probably is but so Nostalgia Critic? Yes. Doug Walker, I'm sure everyone knows him online as the Nostalgia Critic. He Channel put us awesome. on his tweet, Twitter, his Twitter, and his, and his Facebook. He liked our uh, Beetlejuice and said, go and check us out. And so that was huge. We didn't really get much of an influx of, of views from it, because I don't know if people really follow his Facebook or care that much about But uh, just to know that somebody who's a really big YouTuber Super cool. saw us and, and liked us was great. Um, we also started embedding our videos in Facebook uh, about a year ago now. Yeah. And instead of it just being a link to our YouTube channel, which is now actually a live playing video. Mm -hmm. So you can watch the videos directly on Facebook. And we're finding that that's actually helping the cha channel grow. Or probably a lot of you have found us through Facebook, which is awesome. Um, the, the Twitter and stuff, we still haven't really embraced using that much. Facebook works Social really well media. for what we do at Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. We haven't really figured out how best to utilize it for what we do for videos. We're definitely not super social media savvy guys. We just uh, like making videos for the yeah. most part. <laughs> We're doing our best to keep up. But if you guys have any ideas about social media and how we can integrate better into sort of the more modern side of that, let us know in the comments and we're happy to get involved. Rocket League. Oh, Rocket League. Huge, huge, huge. Some of you may have uh, noticed, but uh, or may remember, but it was almost exactly a year ago, or just over a year, or just over a year ago, that uh, one of one of the composers, or the composer of all the Rocket League music, found our version, our a cappella version of his song, and uh, he then contacted the folks at Psionics who Michael? made the game. Mike Alt, and yeah. he has his own YouTube, so you guys should go and check out his Definitely YouTube. Definitely check him out. Really, really nice guy, and he was uh, he was really flattered that we did the cover, and we were super flattered that he noticed. And then, Psionics put it on their Facebook, uh, and on the and on the Rocket League site, and the Rocket League Facebook. So it was really, really fun to see that. Which, which we were just kind of like fangirling or yeah. raving over it's that. It's like our favorite we're, game of the we're year. We're just obsessed like. with Rocket League at the time, yeah. and playing it constantly, and. <laughs> 
That was awesome. You have that your mouse pad? Awesome. I don't have it up here, so oh, I'll shoot. link it. I'll post some of the stuff. They sent oh. us some really awesome swag. Yeah, we got like two. Um, we got some two, mouse pads, two shirts, and shirts and stuff. And some mouse pads and bumper stickers. Shoot. They are so awesome. Yeah, just really supportive of, of us and what we were doing. And so, if you guys haven't played Rocket League, play it. It's play it. so good. It's so much fun. Crazy addictive and just a lot of fun. Cool. Oh. MTV. MTV Cat Dog. Um, this was a weird one. I didn't know. If, I didn't think this one was going to do very well. It wasn't that popular. It was. And it was it, sort of a last minute choice. Did so too, well, wasn't it? Um, it was your girlfriend that told us to do it. Yeah, Chantel, <laughs> Chantello. She was just play, do cat dog, cat dog, cat dog. And it was dog. like I'd kind of seen it, and kind of heard of it. It I wasn't. Was there many requests in the comments for cat dog? No, it wasn't really. It, it wasn't something I'd heard of. A few, a few people had requested it, but I good. heard it and I listened to it. Like, oh, I remember this. This is actually really good. And kind of threw it together in a couple days and put it online. And like instantly, the next day or during the next week, it got picked up by MTV and they grabbed it. Who could say they have a mu music video on MTV? Who? That what an accolade! <laughs> they don't even play music videos on MTV anymore, but we got we got ours. So, uh, and then that spawned uh, other people were then copying that link and sharing it. So like yeah, other what other sites took it from MTV? Like a bunch of other uh, influential social media sites took it from MTV and then pa pasted that, and it created this huge kind of rally of people coming and watching our cat dog cover on YouTube, and it's up to like. Got like know. 10, 20,000 views in like a day, in like that one day. It was super good. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we had that. Um, oh, you got the link there. Let's go to this. I'm going to pull it up. Um, Here's the video that we were included in. So we made it to the Let's Super Mario Thank You video, and this was the Super Mario Acapella speedrun? Yeah, it was like uh, one of the first one ones of the we ever did. One of the very first videos made it on the channel. Because I guess it was... Half of it was part of our Evolution of Video Games post that started this whole thing two years ago. And uh, then it turned into one of our first mini speedruns. So what was the story? Like, you submitted this officially, and I guess we technically won because they included us in their video. Included in the video. I don't But really we never know. got There any. it is, Mr. Doom. Hey, there we are. Yay. That was That was us on Nintendo's YouTube. Game music. Neat. Uh... We did a, we did a fun... 360 degree video on our oh, channel. Oh, yeah. Phase Drift. Phase Drift Media, a really talented bunch of guys that uh, live in Calgary, sort of friends of friends, uh, approached us to do a, a fun 360 degree video, and that was uh, wild. And some of you may remember it, some of you may not have even known that it was 360 degrees when you clicked it, <laughs> you were just staring <laughs> at the ground until you realized that you could move it or use augment reality on your phone to kind of look about. 360 degree, is that ever going to take off? Do you think that's going to be the totally. new the VR, next thing? VR, Oculus Rift, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. In a few years, every video way? will be 360 degrees. So. Pretty, it's it's a lot of work though, so I don't yeah. know if that's going to happen anytime soon yeah, for we'll more if, videos. If, if maybe in the future they, uh, the phase drift fellows kind of streamline the process, then we'll, we'll totally be a game to do another video with them, but that's, that's a fun a thing. That's really cool uh, thing to try out. Yep. And if you haven't seen our, our 360 degree Portal 2 cover, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, uh, we had lots of success on Facebook with our Fallout 4 video. Um, yeah. Fallout 4 was just a super great game. We were both kind of locked into that game for a while. It seemed. Uh, We've got over 100 hours. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe 200 hours. Fallout maybe 200 4 hours. kind of stole my life. I, I think it stole everybody's life. Yeah. For a while there. But our, uh, our Facebook post of Fallout 4 went super viral and has like almost 400,000 yep. views. And, uh, oh, even the YouTube version did really well. Uh, the, one of the CEOs from Fallout, we, can't, we couldn't nail it down who because it was a tweet of a retweet and then we forgot who did it. But one of the CEOs, like a marketing CEO from Bethesda, actually tweeted our cover of Fallout 4. So that was a, kind of a fun accolade. Oh yeah, we can do a scene switch and we'll show them Dis Disney Afternoon podcast approached us uh, probably six months ago to do a thing with them. and So we got to co-host uh, one of the episodes on here, one of the podcasts. So it was really cool, Disney Afternoon, we've covered a lot of Disney tracks when we first started doing the Saturday Morning Acapella series. And uh, we still hit one here and there, but we got actually one coming up right away. Yep. 
because I think Disney was our favorite, we sort of nailed all those right off the bat. Yeah. But uh, there is... Mm-hmm. Uh, there's John gone through most of them. There's still some left. Um, we definitely are going to get to them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got to go yeah, on. We have one prepped already for uh, one of the, the Disney next afternoon week. podcasts, and that was super cool. Yeah. So thank you, Disney afternoon podcast, for including us. Ron Wasserman. Anybody knows that name? This is sure a super. Uh, ner- this is his big order. accolade here. <laughs> I am obsessed with the X Men animated series. Uh-huh. Like that is my show like I love that show and uh, to see that uh, the composer of the actual X-Men animated series opening theme song actually saw the video and commented yep. and approved of it which is awesome yep. uh, just in general like as soon as we started doing the Saturday morning acapella series I was on Mr. Dubes here to actually cover that one even though it was like do it do it do it so obscure to try and cover as an acapella yeah track. it was kind of one of the first time that, that we ever uh, tried to do like a rock instrumental like guitar heavy song as a uh, acapella but I think it turned out really well and yeah. Ron Wasserman uh, you should go and check him out on on YouTube or Facebook and he also uh, composed the Power Rangers opening theme yep yeah, he listened to he listened to both our covers of his popular uh, orchestrations yeah. or, or compositions and uh, super awesome nice to nice to talk to you Ron thanks for the shout out oh this wasn't even that long ago Ratchet and Clank yeah. cover that we did the actual game company Insomniac Games found our Ratchet and Clank cover of Metropolis that was a fun one to cover yeah. uh, you, you were kind of on me about that one for a while because you of, love Ratchet and Clank if, if there was ever kind of a, a console thing he's the N64 kind of game <laughs> that's what he one. had and I had uh, the Playstation and I'm constantly forcing him to play like all these Zelda games he's never played before and finally <laughs> finally they, we got he got me back by saying look you're just gonna do Ratchet and Clank so that I can play one of my favorite yeah. games finally for for <laughs> screen I, I game love capture. Ratchet and Clank it's such a good platformer the controls are so good uh, the games like Zelda and stuff are great but it's different you're not there is no jump button we always have this uh, debate where <laughs> is the jump button and uh, yeah, it's more my style is having more control, and Ratchet and Clank was so much fun. There's lots of great tracks, and we'll, we'll probably do something else. Yes, yeah. we did so well, and everyone liked it, so we're definitely gonna we'll it's touch on Definitely another, an opening to cover another another Ratchet the next, Clank. the next favorite Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Ooh. Maybe the PS4, the latest release. Yeah, I guess that's Possibly true. Something like There's that. There's like a movie coming out too with Ratchet and Clank. It's out. But apparently, it's just like the game. So it's the cinematic cutscenes oh. from the game are the movie. No, they just fleshed it out. They just kind of fleshed it that out. That makes sense. Like they which, did that for the, like the Lego, which I've Batman seen and stuff like that. Well, it's good, I guess, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. If you play the game through, you wouldn't. You don't need to see the movie. The movie. No. I get you. There. It doesn't add to it. I suppose. <clears throat> At least that's what I've seen from reviews. I haven't played it yet. I've been busy playing other games, unfortunately. It's never get around time. to it eventually. Yeah. It's never enough time. So there's this guy on. Uh, some of you may have heard of him. His name is Michael Benier. He was the voice of Bob on Reboot. And most recently, he was actually in the Daredevil movie. And that was kind of neat. Did you know that? Deadpool? Deadpool. Why did I say Daredevil? <laughs> <laughs> Let's edit that out. <laughs> I'm really a fan of Marvel. No, I, I, I don't, I don't make mistakes like that often. But uh, in the Deadpool movie, there's this scene at the in the beginning where kind of the villain is doing this arms deal with like an arms dealer it's like bad bad guy and and he like lifts this guy up in the air with like his strength and that that is Michael Benyar he, he was playing like the arms dealer and he's also the voice of Bob from Reboot long story short he posted our cover of, of Reboot on his Facebook and that was really kind of cool to have uh, like a kind of current star or kind of Hollywood guy actor it's um, usually the composer or the game company or the creator that will end up reaching out to us right, to have one of the it. actors and like it's, uh, one of the faces of the game or voices of the, of the situation. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love Daredevil as well. Uh, that out of the way. Oh, you can switch to screen two and show them our TSM thing. I can do that. Yay. Uh, I can it's our first that. time using uh, this live streamy program. Yeah, and we're doing it from my laptop. It's a little underpowered. Not on the big rig here. Uh, where was I going? Uh, bar I'm going down. to Bar Down. Bar Down. Oh yeah. yeah. So you did a whole pile of crazy hockey tracks. 
<laughs> um, it was sort of a. It uh, seemed a bit of a misfit pairing that TSN approached us to do a cappella covers of hockey songs. And we were skeptical, but I mean, it was a really, really fun experience. And I don't think they really went crazy viral, and not a lot of people really ended up uh, cl clicking them or seeing them. But if you haven't, and we'll have a link to this, you can check out uh, Mr. Doove's doing some classic hockey theme songs. And it's pretty cool. It's got, uh, what are some of them that you covered? Well, uh, there's like the TSN Sportsnet's theme, the Hockey Night in Canada theme, uh, the good old hockey game song. Yeah. So those you won't really see on our channel, it's not really fitting to what we cover, yep. but they're available at the bar down. You can see them there, kind of exclusive there if you want to check them out, yeah. which is pretty cool. Recommend that. And uh, that's what's it. next? That's it for our crazy list so that's, of... That was our year. Uh, we've grown a lot. We're at over 17,000 subs, yeah. uh, over 5,000 people wild. liking on the Facebook page. It's been page. a wild ride. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's been a wild ride. It's great. Yeah, we weren't. We didn't do this just to brag. That wasn't no, <laughs> a little segment where we brag about our various. Uh, I guess segue from that. Uh, all of this influx is great. We love it, uh, but it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Uh, you guys make this happen. You guys share our videos. You guys come back every day, every morning, or Saturday morning to check out the Saturday morning acapella, and we want to be able to kind of give back to you. And we really can't. Like we, we could give you more albums, I guess, yep. and copies keep, of that. Keep doing but, the things you request and uh, keep trying to make you guys happy as far as content. we wanted to do with the, the swag is actually be able to kind of give uh, some back to you. So we're going to do kind of like a little giveaway, kind of our first giveaway that we've ever done. Uh, it's going to be giving away a couple t-shirts here. Um, your, basically your choice from our store of uh, one of these shirts here. We'll do a draw. We'll do... Uh, Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving away two t-shirts to the general subscribers, you guys, as well as um, another one's going to our Patreons. We do have a Patreon, we have a small select few of you there, and we want to give uh, uh, give those guys a shot too. But if you are a Patreon supporter, you are included that you could win twice, I suppose, mm -hmm. or have a second chance if you... Uh, I guess go into the next Although draw. I, th I think probably if, if there is a Patreon supporter that won the shirt, then we wouldn't include them in the draw. To right, if you uh, didn't win them on Patreon, how about? There you go. There Precisely. you go. You have yeah. three chances of winning ah, instead of just If you're uh, a supporter two. of ours on Patreon. Right, yeah. Not a lot of you. Um, and yeah, so we want to do kind of a giveaway, but we just don't want to, we want to make it a little bit fun yeah. and make you kind of work for it. We'll see if actually anyone does this. It'd be cool if they do. Uh, <laughs> it's worth it. They're good shirts. So, so do it just for the fun of it. Oh, super high quality. Yeah. Right, look at that. Even if you don't win, it'll be a fun little exercise to, to kind of in, be involved with us. So, uh, there's uh, yeah. one of our recent Saturday morning acapellas, Invader, Invader Zim. Zim. We've already talked about it today. And uh, we want to kind of go to, uh, let's go here. So how to win. Go how to, to win. our Invader Zim cover. Go to the end, time stamped 48 seconds. So our little end roll. I don't know if anyone's ever stayed that long on Saturday morning <laughs> acapella. And you may see the karma of uh, poor old Fisher getting either hurt or injured. Not always, and Invader Zim uh, actually got to stay intact and yeah, explode. No. And uh, <laughs> during our little uh, end cards here, we want to get you guys to go here and see if you can figure out uh, all 15 of the Saturday morning acapella videos that Gurr is watching here on his all the screens here. Um, so if you go in here, let's make this larger, you'll see there's all these little TVs um, that he's watching show. So if you're able to name them all, you want to write down each one, all 15 of them, try your best guess, kind of look through. If you can't quite find it, maybe go through the old videos and look. And on this video here in the comments, paste the 15 videos. So you'll just paste it as a comment on this video here. And we're going to go through and take all the people that uh, participated in here and basically the guys that got it right. We're going to do a draw between them uh, and just anyone that commented and even if you're wrong 
we're gonna do a draw between you guys and then the Patreons will have it. Yeah, it's not about being right it's or not knowing, about being right or wrong. Or knowing it's just every single video we've ever done, but it's just a, a fun way of get, getting you guys involved. You do a little back and forth, and then you'll be included in the draw and so, you might win a shirt. Just it matter anyone that comments on this video. No matter what you say, you're going to get into a draw for a shirt. And then <laughs> but if you're if... purposely really, really wrong, you <laughs> probably won't win. <laughs> uh, and then, yes, if you could guess that, very cool. Um, so, yeah, check out our Invader of Zim Saturday morning acapella video. Go to the end and try and see if you can figure out which Saturday morning acapellas uh, little girl is watching. Get you some too. cool swag. You too. And then we'll contact awesome. you afterwards uh, to... Uh, to send it out and we'll do like a draw we'll do kind of a random draw awesome how about a little random q and a q and a we took what down we took down yeah what does that stand for Qu query and analytics analytics no, it was question questions and answers, and answers. <laughs> uh, so we basically went through and kind of thought about all of the different questions that we've been asked a multitude of times so the more commonly asked frequently asked questions of, of our comment section and so we're kind of gonna hack through these and answer them and if you guys have made it this long in the video you might have one of your questions answered in this process Ooh. how long does it take for us to make these videos Richard Fisher, what do you think? Uh, the, it's kind of an interesting process. Let's start from the beginning. How are these videos actually made? Well, it's a complicated process. Who does, who does what? There's not an app that will allow you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that's been a question. Uh, what app do you use? No, there's no, no, app. no there's a, no, a number of different computer programs, uh, software utilized. It's probably all starts with the music process. If anyone has been watching our Making Tunes series, you'll know that it gets pretty elaborate. But the point is, uh, I start by doing a musical cover and covering track by track of all the audio uh, parts and the music parts in each song. Then I piece together my video of me singing those parts around the edge. So that's where it leaves my hands. I've done the music and the production, and I've done all the little Dave, or Mr. Doof's heads. Ooh, hey, spoilers, it's my real name. Ooh. And you'll see all the <laughs> all the Mr. Doof's heads around the outside with a black space in the middle. And then, I send that to Fisher. So then he okay. sends it to me. Now that, that part takes probably from four to 10 hours, depending on the complexity of the song. Or even more. Could be more, I'd say. Dark Souls, Fallout, Star Wars, the more complicated orchestral scores with like upwards of 12 to 16 parts, they could easily have taken me 12 hours max. And for me, then I add the visuals. I take either as a Saturday morning acapella, I'll take the intro theme, I'll create a little kind of end card animation and do the thumbnails, I'll post it onto the YouTube channel and then it goes live for all of you guys to see. When there's video games uh, in created, so like a video game music acapella, those take a little longer. All the video footage is captured by me, and it's me playing. And yes, I'm not the greatest at every video <laughs> game, I'm sorry. But he's doing uh, it every week, he's making a new one, and he tries his best. Uh, yes, and yeah, I'll play tons of games. So I'm, I'm kind of an ADD gamer at this point. I'll start halfway into a game, and then shift to another one because every week we've been posting a video game acapella for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, so depending on the game, it can range from if we're doing just a simple 8-bit game, like a beat-em-up game where I can get to the level, the, like the scene or wherever the track, the audio track plays, I can get to that really quickly. It'd take me a few hours probably to throw it all together. And uh, if it's something like a heavy RPG that requires a lot of gameplay, ooh, it can take a while. I could probably put 20 hours into gameplay footage and then I have to go through that and then I'm gonna make a montage yeah. out of it, you, it can add up. So like a VGMA can get tricky. I've gotten pretty good at working my way around with save file editing and uh, using codes and stuff to try and get to like a near end part of a RPG game in order to get that footage captured in high quality. Because so I don't have the time every week to work my way through an entire Final Fantasy game to get oh specifically God. to a certain point. Yeah. But if I can either utilize save files and kind of hack and edits and stuff like that, I'll get my way to that spot to record the footage. Because I've played a lot of these games in the past, so I kind of know where I'm going and what I'm doing. Thank Except God the for Zelda the games. internet and stuff. Ooh, I just get lost. Yeah, Zelda's <laughs> not that hard. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we all have our 
expertise. Yeah. I'm sure, Ratchet I'll, and Clank was easy I'll, for you to I'll capture. S- I'll sink like twelve hours into a, a Zelda try and capture, and you're like, I could have done that in an hour. <laughs> yeah, I knew doing? how to get there. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, they can range. They can vary so much. So. Uh, that's why you'll see kind of a mix will like swing to uh, some kind of nostalgic 8-bit games that are a little quicker for ca- game capture. Uh, something like Dark Souls took quite a while to capture the footage and most of my footage ended up corrupted. Oh, yeah. Just like Dark Souls, it just keeps hitting you, knocking you down. <laughs> it's nothing about Dark Souls is easy. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. music was hard because I had no lyrics for the Latin or French that they were singing and I had to make that up from listening. But Your game capture was getting dropped. The uh... <laughs> We were persistent. We, so it was getting done and we got it out and uh, I, I like. I really like how it turned out. It was... And no um, one saw it. <laughs> no one saw it. <laughs> All that work, and it's a thousand views. But well, that's, you know, that's, that's the thing. That's we do it for the love of, of what we do. A thousand still watched it, and that's awesome. That if, <laughs> all those of you that will still stick it through and even watch this video, you guys mm-hmm. rock. Long story short, it takes a, a while. Probably each week we sink 20 hours to 40 hours into this channel each. Because we do two posts a week. Yep. And spend about 10 to 20 hours on each post each. Yeah. Is this your so day job? It's a, it's, it's a part-time job. But it's definitely it's, a part-time. But it's not... It's kind of a hobby. We it's love not to our do day this. Job. We'd be doing it um, whether we sold merchandise or not. Like, it's we're here to just yeah. it's have fun. The community, it's awesome. We love going back. I love going through like every week we get a new Saturday morning acapella and since I get to do the video footage I'm watching all of these shows and going through to see wow like I don't remember this show at all or some of the great shows we go back to and we get to see some new stuff too. Mm -hmm. Things that we'd never heard of before and yeah it's kind of we can hardly call this work so to say is this your full time or is this your day job yeah, it's not a job at all. It's fun. Right. We have yeah. a great time and we do it for free. Luckily, you know, there's not. it's not all entirely for free. We're obviously selling albums and merch because it helps us to be able helps to put us, money your... back into the channel and back into costuming and back into advertising yeah. to continue to grow the brand. So, yeah, no, we're, we're happy that uh, we get to do it at all. But no, we have day jobs. We have full-time day jobs. We have real lives outside of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a full-time performer. I, I perform in musicals and... Uh, Fisher is a, a, a technician. Tech. Yeah. Uh, so kind of what we do on computer tech. On, kind, of, we kind, of, kind of the same thing we do on YouTube. I do the performance production, and he does all the technical, kind of technical stuff. Technical stuff. Uh, yeah. And like some of the stuff, like I'll, I'll be working my day job normally, and then I usually have most of my video footage and stuff prepped before he even records the acapella track. So mm-hmm. I'll take a template and have it all ready because sometimes we're like under the gun. I have to merge these stuff together. I'll, I'll get my get video it up and done running last minute real and quick. he'll have worked all day and he has an hour to, to finally merge them. So everything you can complete before I get that video to you, yeah. you're pretty... We have a pretty cool good system. Yeah, set up now. Got a good system. And I think uh, Making Tunes episode four will talk a lot about your side of things. Yes, yeah, so I'll be doing kind of a video of what I do on my side. And if it hasn't been kind of clear, if you didn't watch our last channel update, Mr. Dubes and I don't live in the same city. So everything we kind of do, every video is technically a collaboration remotely. Because mm-hmm. you uh, you travel around for uh, your day job and I am localized in one spot. And today is just one of those rare occasions where we're actually in the same spot together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're here. Will you ever cover TV shows other than cartoons? This gets asked Ooh. fairly often when we'll get a, uh, a request for something that isn't a kid's show or that something that didn't play on a Saturday morning uh, time slot like The Simpsons or uh, I guess Invader Zim was a bit of a half... It was a gray area. It's a, definitely a kid's show. It's a kid's show for sure, but it never played Saturday morning. I mean, people... Uh, a lot of our subscribers are kind of looking for exact guidelines and rules, so they know what to request. Right. And this, we're, we it's kind a of gray area. Rules, like, like, this is for kids, and our, we make the post on Saturday morning, so it all still kind of counts. Um, but there are definitely shows that don't fit into the kids' show thing. Like, people request the Full House theme song, or people have requested Simpsons or Family Guy. Um, Doctor Who theme. There are a number of songs that have been requested a few yep. times that just don't fall into the Saturday morning acapella template. And if we can trick it, we will, like Star Trek. 
right? yeah, animated Star Trek, or we, <laughs> or like how Star Wars, we really did the Star Wars theme, but we set it to the new video game, Battlefront. A Battlefront, so we were able to do that because that theme is included in. Uh, but yes, there are a number of things that don't fit into our two series. Now that brings us to sort of uh, what's happening in the future of Triforce films. Will you ever do? series that doesn't include video games or Saturday morning kids shows. And yes, we are we are definitely looking at that in great detail. We definitely want to cover that. The what we just talked about was we have day jobs. So it's a matter of do where does the extra time come from? And we might have to either sub out a video <coughs> game a cappella at some point to try and introduce maybe a new series mm -hmm. that involves those types of shows. And we'll see kind of your response if you guys enjoy that kind of content or if you'll be upset with uh, losing a uh, video game acapella here or there. We have covered um, just like pop songs and stuff. You've mm -hmm. been doing a few of those and so far so good. It looks, seems like you guys are responding quite nicely to those. Yeah. And uh, hopefully that's uh, not too straying too far from what we do. But uh, we would love to see, there's a lot of great um, more mature, or just generalized uh, shows that don't fit that Saturday morning acapella theme that I'd love to hear you do a cover of and just see a video of too, so. Yeah, I'd love to cover like The Simpsons or Futurama or Full House or Family, Family. Matters. Family a lot guy. of other nostalgic retro stuff that would just like Oh, really hit home for me Even and for a bunch like, of our subscribers. Cool sci-fi shows, but things it, like that. Yeah, exactly. Doctor Who, Geek the A-Team, who knows? Knight Rider, oh my god, there's so many good themes. But it would require us using that midweek Wednesday or Thursday slot as sort of a wild card slot where we would kind of like in the past we've done a making tunes or an album release video or a pop song cover and now we would be able to include those other things. So it just would mean that you'd see a few less video game acapella covers. Right. So like probably, you know, once a month we would slide something else in there instead of a video game cover or twice a month. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think if you if you're if you're really mad and you're like, oh, I want to see every video game cover, then maybe we have to, we'll have to re-evaluate uh, that. But yeah. it seems like people are pretty flexible, and every time we've done a pop cover or a making tunes or a album release, or a, people look at that midweek post as a wild card, it seems. No one's upset, so that's good. Thank you for being flexible with that. Yep. Chair is dangerous. I know, this thing slides around. We're gonna, spilled coffee everywhere. We're gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, let us know what... Uh, what you think about that, but that's the plan, is that we're going to start doing new, different things, different shows, different styles of cover, and it's just going to happen in our midweek post, and we would never mess with the Saturday morning acapella stuff. That's, uh, that's pretty locked in place. That's, so that's concrete. That that's kind of our, our thing. That's bread the main butter. bread and butter of the channel. Yeah. And every Saturday morning, we really wanted to bring back the fact that Saturday morning cartoons, that getting up in the morning to see something new that you can't just go on demand and binge watch on Netflix or anything, to have that Saturday morning acapella or a Saturday morning cartoon theme kind of just keep going. And we want to be able to have that for you guys every Saturday morning. I, th I think a lot of people so, associate with that feeling too. It's just like that excitement, that childhood. What could it be? You know, yeah. It's can't like wait for the you next get show. up on Saturday and you're just like, oh, I just can't wait to, to watch my cartoons and just kind of get that feeling again like we did when we were kids. So yeah, we're gonna keep that going forever. Um, what else do we got? Oh, oh. commonly asked questions. Well, we can skip that. Like, what are? Okay, this is a good one. What are some of your favorite shows that subscribers have recommended that you cover that you've ever never watched or heard of before? Yeah, I guess you'll. You obviously we're not. Uh, we're not teenagers. We we grew up in the '80s and early '90s, so our our sort of. The main shows that we ended up watching would be like DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, that stuff. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, X-Men. Those were shows that happened when we were kids and when we were watching cartoons and absorbing that stuff. But there are a number of our younger subscribers that suggested a song that we'd never heard of or a show we'd never seen. And we watch it and end up really liking it. So that's a, that's a good question. I watched the entirety of Gravity Falls after we did the cover. Gravity Falls is great. Because it's like blew me away how kind of mature and fun and like that's a fun one we did adventure time that's a new cartoon that uh, we obviously i'd known about it and watched it but you've watched but, it i hadn't watched much of it it's really good yeah 
uh, Wander Over Yonder. I watched a ton of that after we did, uh, did a cover. It's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's hilarious, actually. Um, yeah. What's in the box? <laughs> you won't get any of the references. Nope. No. Yeah, but I guess because we're so pressed for time, I feel like a poser because there's a number of covers I've done <laughs> for shows that I didn't even end up watching an episode of. Like, yeah. I'll watch, like, the first episode and I'll watch some intros and stuff just to, like, get an idea of, like, of, of the song and, and what it's about and find a costume to wear for the video, yeah. and that's about as far as I'll go into a few of these. I'll definitely watch a few of the episodes when I'm scanning through for end rolls, and yeah. if, uh turns out to be a good show keep on watching what what's next you don't want to answer where we get all those t-shirts in our videos oh that's what it said yeah. okay yeah no answer that yeah where do you get all your crazy t-shirts that you're wearing yeah that's like the like, mask I, and like transformers all of the costuming that, that that we do or that I do for the videos I, I just build it from scratch out of anything I can find around I've gotten pretty good at like arts and crafts and like drawing out a logo, coloring it, cutting it out, pasting it with two-sided tape onto like whatever appropriately colored shirt that I have. I have like a kaleidoscope of t-shirts in every color of the rainbow just so that I can use them for whatever the appropriate situation is. Like, you know, literally I make a different t-shirt logo for every single posting <laughs> just to have. <laughs> Uh, and it, you get you get quick at it. So unfortunately, it's not it's not a shirt that you guys can buy or find online. These are all just things that we make. Like I'll paste things to my headphones or cut things out of paper and tape them here and there. And it's just every all the costuming that we do. Try and keep it low budget. None of it's official. Costly. None of it's official. There is no place to purchase the shirts or costuming pieces that you see on the channel. It's all just done from scratch. Minimalist cosplay. Yeah. We thought about opening an Instagram where I would show the pictures of me wearing really bad <laughs> <laughs> thrown together cosplay. Mm -hmm. Most of the costumes that I've that I've managed to hold together during the video fall apart off of me when I stand up after recording. It's just like <laughs> like it was just hung together in place. Yeah. And sometimes we've done a little bit of post production. Invader Zim was a little bit of post production there. I'm, I'm obviously not and an alien who is green, so we had to We didn't paint him up. <laughs> as well as reboot, we yep. did that there. But yep. for the most part, it's always been you just making stuff up. Yeah. You're good. pretty clever with your filters and uh, color changes and okay. so get it going. Work together to do that. Um, who the heck is Fisher? What does he do, and why does he always die? I guess we kind of talked about, the, obviously, what you do for the channel. Yeah. And but why do you always die? <laughs> <laughs> You're like the South Park's Kenny of Triforce Films. Kind of the Waspinator of the group from does, Beast Wars. Does Waspinator always die? He gets hurt a lot. I can't remember that. I did watch Beast Wars as a kid. Yeah. We just, we think it's fun, and we think it's neat that there's a lot of subscribers that will comment and be like, well, what's going to happen to Fisher this week? Or like, oh, I thought for sure he'd get crushed by this or <laughs> hit by that. It kind of came to that. First of all, I just love Easter eggs and things, and the end roll animation stuff all just started with, I would sneak stuff into our really old videos just to see if dudes would notice, and he never <laughs> never <did>. anything, <laughs> ever. So then it just kind of <laughs> got to the point where I'm like, hmm... What if I just start killing Fisher and he, will he even notice and he still didn't notice? <laughs> <laughs> of course I know who it is. Not yeah, he, he caught on. I'm he not that on. observant, but the yeah. Really, the really tricky stuff. There's some secret stuff in some of the old videos. Some of the things I'll sneak stuff in. I don't even remember what I did half the time. Oh man, I'll have to go back and but see. But I love Easter eggs, so yeah. that's that's kind of what it came, that's where it started to. So pay attention to those end rolls, because you'll always see something fun. And that's kind of my favorite part of the week is when Fisher finishes his side of things and puts it online, then I gotta go on YouTube and watch and see what he's done. See how Fisher gets killed. Fishbot. Squishbot. Will you ever cover... <laughs> will you cover every Undertale track ever? Oh. I'm obviously summarizing, because uh, <laughs> we do get requests for a hundred thousand um, Undertale tracks, and, and we playing it a while ago and uh, as soon as I started playing it the very first track we ran into was like ruins and I was just like wow we just have to cover this and first of all I don't have to play very far into this game to capture the footage Thank for this for level and uh, dude was on board this was before we even really realized that it was this huge 
thing. Like the Undertale is just a monster. Yeah. Our and Runes cover happened like just when the game was brand new. Yeah. Pretty much. So Undertale ruins acapella. So um, will we cover more Undertale tracks? We're not. Possibly. Sure. We're not saying no. We it's... love the soundtrack, and but we've seen a trend on YouTube of sort of channels getting overwhelmed. Um, there's the what's the Kazoo guy? Kazood. Kazood. Suko G. Yeah. He's been doing he, lots. Uh, he, uh, uh, Smooth McGrew, he's been doing a lot of Undertale so he's tracks. He's doing Undertale. And it seems like we just don't want to, we don't want to just ride coattails and do it just because it's this huge trend, even though we really love the, um, we love the soundtrack. We're afraid of it becoming the only thing that identifies us. Yeah. Whereas the whole time that we've been doing this channel, it's always really varied and diverse and dynamic. Every post is very different than the last. We do a game that's very modern, and then we'll do a game that's like super old and like everything in between, or a, or a cartoon theme from every era, and never never the same thing back to back. So we just don't want that to be the identity. We want it to be fun and exciting every time you come to the channel when there's a new post to be like, what's it gonna be? Or, oh man, I remember that game. Something for everyone is kind of what we want. We, totally. we know we have like a diverse audience. Uh, we're from 80s, 90s, but it doesn't change the fact that uh, we want to cover newer content, even though Saturday morning cartoons don't exist, we still want to cover new content mm -hmm. when that comes to the play. Um, so we kind of try and do something from like the 80s, 90s, work our way, retro games, modern games. We want to mix it up. And uh, yeah, we don't want to get stuck just covering one game because it, it doesn't work out. Though there are some other tracks that we might revisit a little later, um, but we've got stuff planned as well that we still want to do. Totally. There's lots of requests and stuff that we have gotten. So. so I imagine we'll do some more Undertale, but it just won't be right it just away. won't be the only thing we do. That's for sure. Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> yeah. When are you doing Thomas the Tank Engine? This is like the most requested song ever. And you just, I think he's just, in spite, he's just not doing it. I'm not, no, it's, I've just, I never <laughs> saw Thomas the Tank, I don't even know what the theme is. Um, Here, play it for me. <laughs> play play Thomas up. the Tank Engine. I gotta start searching it. I wonder if it'll crunch. Yeah, we've been having trouble with the computer here, trying to... This may be edited out, but just because oh, it might oh, not oh, work. Oh, 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 oh. But either way, I'd love to... Let's capture my my react. It's a react video. No, these are copyrighted. We can't make a react video. We can make whatever we want. Can we? We're rebels. We're, re <laughs> we're in Canada. The Thomas law, the Tank Engine. Law, copyright law doesn't apply to Canadians. Uh, All right, here we go. Uh, Mr. Doob's first <laughs> viewing of the Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay. That's right. I got prepping it here. Oh, 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 oh. Switch scenes here so you can see what I'm doing. You need some audio. They'll hear it. Nope, nope. Why not? Oh, you're gonna hear it, so you can hear it. Yeah. You need to put your headphone in. Well, I, I want. It's gonna. Oh yeah, I have a headphone. I gotta teach this guy how to use headphones. What do you mean? I um, <laughs> I never take these things off. Where are they? Here. Oh yeah, I got my good ones. Your good ones. You had them beside you. There you go. There you go. Hey, look, guys. We're gonna we're gonna listen. The classics. Triforce Films reacts to Thomas, Thomas the, Tank, the Tank. Tank. I know what this theme is. I've never heard it. I don't know it. It's two and a half minutes. Um, it's like a full album track. No, it just looped that. That's it. It's just yeah, that's it. We heard it? I think so. <laughs> that was it? It happened already? Oh wow. It's like 8 million views. This is... <laughs> 8 million views. Okay, we're gonna have to cover it now. It's only 30 seconds long and it got 8 million views. Oh, now it's... Hey, see there is something. It's an extended, expanded version. Okay. Well, it's catchy, that's for darn sure. Mm-hmm. Simple. Fun. I just have to watch some Thomas the Tank. Yep. Don't you want? Don't stand on the tracks, Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we know what's gonna happen in the end roll of that. We don't. <laughs> Spoilers. Okay. Cool. Thomas okay. the Tank. So well, are we gonna do it? It's been requested a lot. Yeah. Uh, we'll can't. have to try and figure out where we're gonna squeeze it into our lineup. Yeah. It's um, probably a Saturday morning thing. 
But to, oh, it's definitely Saturday morning. Acapella. But the idea just is where we're gonna squeeze it into the yeah. Upcoming. That's that's something a lot of people will say. In do few... this next week, but that's not really how we like, we plan things. Pretty elaborately, we have a a schedule taken from our list. Uh, the most requested songs will end up getting bumped and bumped, bumped and bumped. And if they're relevant and modern and and we associate with them personally and can know that we can get them out and done. So there's a lot of consideration, there's a lot of planning and scheduling, and we have probably a couple of months, two to three months planned of posts at any given moment. So, saying, uh, do this next week is not usually going to happen that way. It usually ends up being... Takes a while. Later. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's on the short list now. Yes. Thomas the Tank Engine it's just got bumped list. from the long list to the short here. list. Now that I know what it is. <sighs> okay, and uh, what we got here? It's this is called Triforce Films Rambling Update. Oh my gosh. Ramble. Are you going to cut this down? Nope. Nope? No. They're going to get the whole, the whole meal? Ramble. All right. Well, sure. hey, anyone that makes it through to the end, you guys deserve a shirt just for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Making Tunes episode... What is that? Three. Episode three. Yeah. Making Tunes with Mr. Dooves episode three. Are you working on it? You said it's coming. It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay. So that means that's in the launch yep. uh, of the next few weeks. Yep. So just... When, when you see it, you'll see it. It's going to be on the channel very, very soon. And I know there are a number of people that are... I mean, it's not like a hugely viewed thing, but the people that are viewing it, that have been watching the series, are, are excited about it and want the next episode. So, here it's coming. And thank you for continuing to be patient. They're complicated to make. I'm, I'm new to screen capping and stuff like that, so... But yeah, it's coming. In. We'll, we'll be on it, starting on it, making episode four soon. Future show ideas, uh, TV tunes a cappella. Yeah, I guess so. We've already talked this about this already. We're thinking about trying to get those other TV shows out on their own, um, and stuff that just doesn't fit into the Saturday morning a cappella yep. theme. Make a new uh, and make a new series of all the shows series. that don't fit as cartoon kids shows. Something also we also tossed around the idea of is oh. like an a cappella okey all like the Saturday morning cartoon. Can I get songs. you to say that again? Acapelioki? Yeah. What does that what does that mean? <laughs> we, got a, we got a dog barking back then. Um yes. Acapelioki uh, basically taking <laughs> Say it Hear again. me out. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> taking all of the lead vocals out of a Saturday morning a cappella, uh, play the videos, and then you get to be the uh, the singer. So we'll actually put the lyrics in just like an acapella or a karaoke track, right? Yeah, we could make like maybe and a contest a, where... A contest? Well, I don't know, we could maybe. sell the tracks and uh, as an album or something and everyone could, you know, get these versions of the tracks where there's no vocals included and then... You don't have to sell them, you just give them out, get these guys making your own videos. You could be the lead vocalist cool? in a Saturday morning acapella. Yeah, we wouldn't sell it. But that's kind of neat. So uh, let us know what you think about that comment and and, and uh, tell yeah. us so if, that's just another that's, idea would you want to sing along to miss to a background track of mr. do's doing acapella I don't know it's kind of neat we'll see what the response is to that yeah and it's not like it's a lot of work like I can pop those out right now sure. just let the world have them cool so that's another idea trying to create like a little uh, karaoke stuff so mm. acapella yoki and then TV tunes acapella those are a couple ideas of show kind of things we'd want to do and uh, yeah, any thoughts on feedback on if you thought that might be a bad idea, good idea. Other than that, what else do you want to cover? Is We're out of uh, notes. Going to an hour, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we kind of threw this together last minute, so we kind of wanted to do this live streaming and have your kind of input and stuff, but we just don't have the time. So we kind of threw this together for you guys, get you kind of a unedited, just out yeah. there channel update. Of wasn't old. wasn't planned, pretty raw, just us <laughs> rambling, and well, hopefully that's okay. People want to hear us jibber jabber, though. We're not boring. Kind of. Are we? A little bit. I'm kind of boring. Let's just edit edit this all down into jump cuts and make it one minute long. No. Maybe. Nope. Anyways, I think that's it. We're gonna shut her down for the day. Yeah, let's go play some. Uh, let's go play some video games. Oh, what are you playing? 
What am I playing? What, what games have you been playing that's other fun. than what we've been covering? Yeah, that's sort of a nerdy retro channel that we that's, run that's here. That's what we, we're going to do. play video games. We're going to go right now and play some of those video games. Play some video games. Well, I mean, re recently, you got me into Dark Souls 3. Yeah. It is the most punishingly difficult game I've ever he played. beat the first boss, though. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's hard. Yeah. We're trying to play cooperatively, and we just keep dying separately, and then we have to try and find each other again, and the holy... My god, I don't know how you people do this. How are you playing this game? I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna keep at it and see how well I do. I, I also got the new Doom game. Doom? Doom. Yeah. I figured we could have done the theme for Doom, but it's not that different than Doom 3. It's just sort of a variation on kind of the melody from Doom 3. Right. And it's not that memorable, so I was like, ah, oh, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not, but yeah. that's a good one. Overwatch. Ooh, Overwatch. So What's that? a bunch of that. What is Overwatch? It's a fun new first-person shooter, kind of Team Fortress style, made by Blizzard that we're finding a lot of entertainment from. Yeah, play a bunch of that, and we're gonna play some more of that. So it's that's got a pretty good musical the... theme. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what someone would do with that. Should someone cover that? Maybe. Acapella. <laughs> it's just too much. Anyways, that's what we're going to go do. We're going to play some games. Thank you guys all for watching and sticking through. Uh, comment down below. Enter to win some cool Triforce Films t-shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that... Go check out the merch. Go find our Facebook page. See what we're doing. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.